You ready to go camping? It's too early in the morning. to go. So we made it to Algonquin Park, Smoke Lake. We left Toronto at 4.30 in the morning and we made it here about 7.30. Got on the water at 8 and we're headed to Bonacher for our first night. We're doing four four days, three nights. So we'll be on Bonacher tonight, then Lake Louisa, and then Big Porcupine. We did this loop two years ago um, without Emma. She was under a year old and we left her for the first time with some friends. So this will be Emma's first time doing this loop. I'd say it's like moderately challenging, right? Yeah, the portages are a little on the steeper side. More, yeah, it's not bad. More incline on these it's portages. Like, it's under 20 kilometers a day. Yeah, it's under 20k a day. Someone carved that stick. That's somebody's stick. Where did you find that? So this should be a 240 meter portage. It's short. It's pretty steep. So this first portage is bringing back memories of why this loop is a little challenging. You want a snack? So the last time we were here in this spot, we were attacked by a gang of wild otters. <laughs> Narrowly escaped with our lives. Is that how the story went? No. <laughs> the otters? Okay. 
There's three of them, Jamie. Can we go? <laughs> Where do we go? This is not good. James? James? Jamie? Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I'm coming up on the second portage and it's the Devil's Staircase. She is. Devil staircase. I mean, the whole portage is devil staircase, but you know, this is the staircasey part. <laughs> trying to step up equally with both legs, so I don't have only one sore butt. Yeah. <laughs> Got into Porcupine. Oh, are you sleepy already? Well, I find that hard to believe. <laughs> um, we could get out and do a short portage, or we could just take the longer paddling route uh, to Bonacher. We're gonna see how bad the wind is. It seems okay, and um, probably just paddle it. No, I saw that come out of another one earlier today. Oh, so that's what they do. What is it? I've actually never seen it before today. It is. Maybe what it's doing is it's using its leg to create like different layers and its feathers and it's trying to like clean itself. I think this time of year they lose their plumage. Mm -hmm. They're like mating plumage. So they're, that's why they get kind of called Did you just have zoomies? Butts all wet. 200 meter portage to Bonacher. Birch bark? Good job. You're finally carrying something useful other than water weight. Hmm? Okay. Oh, it's dog bone. Okay, Emma. That's not birch bark. Drop. Good girl, leave it. I'll just carry it under my armpit for now so she can't get it. You can't have it. You can't have rawhide. No, no wonder she was carrying it so diligently. I thought it was birch bark. 
Yeah. And then I'm like, why, yeah, why is she carrying that for so long? And this is for sure. Before noon and we've arrived at Bonacher. So we're gonna go and try and find a campsite that we stayed at before that we really like and see if it's free. This lake is really clear and so is Big Porcupine. It's really nice. The water just feels so clean. You can see really deep down. It's because they're all headwater lakes. So where we're at right now has some of the higher elevations. Mm -hmm. So these lakes are much higher than, especially the northern lakes that we were staying in in our last trip. Mm -hmm. Those ones are much closer to sea level because the Ottawa River is there. So these lakes are actually much higher. So they're, they're formed mostly from ground groundwater rather than from like river systems flowing into them. So where are we? We're on a really nice campsite that we stayed at two years ago on the same lake that we really like. It's gotta be one of our favorites. Yeah. It has this hidden little driveway out the back and the fire pits down here and the other side's all rock. It's wet wipes. Wet wipes? Mm -hmm. Nice. Eggshells. That's great. I'll have to have a really hot one. Who knows what those wet weights were used for? Probably butts. The only thing is that this site is a little dangerous for her, man. Maybe. Well, I mean. That's not bad. She'll be fine. something bright so people know we're here. Oh my goodness. Zoomies. Oh no. Oh wow. I don't think we can control that. <laughs> all good? She's got it all out of her system. No. No way. Oh, I've got like a sunglasses mark. Nice. It's like a unibrow. <laughs> it's a new look. All right, uh, we just got to the site 10, 15 minutes ago. It's about 12, 15, so it's great time. Um, I guess that took us about four hours then from uh, Smoke Lake 
to Bonacher. Uh Yeah, because we left super early in the morning, 4.30 from Toronto. Totally worth it to get here nice and early. So we're going to have some lunch snacks now because we just uh, ate some cliff blocks on the way. Um, yeah, so we'll have our proper pepperonis and baby bells <laughs> and cliff bar for lunch and then set up camp. So the site is on a peninsula, basically, um, that is basically a, this rock lit ledge that goes all the way across the site. So it's beautiful, um, but that means it's exposed on both sides for quite a while. So you have to walk back kind of deeper. Um, into the forest to get to the box. <laughs> so, yeah, that's like a little private spot. Decently private, but also a little open. It's like a bit of a marshy area there. A real beautiful walk back from the box though. Let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, just up along this ridge. Get views there. Oh! I mean, the negative about this site is that it, it, if it is windy at all, it's quite windy here. And it can be very steep. Oh my goodness. So as long as Emma, come this way. Come. <laughs> as long as you keep your furry pals and children away from the edge ish, it should be fine. This rock point is really beautiful. No, don't go that way. Emma, come down. How did you get up? How did you get up there? Hey, this way, this way. No. Oh my god. Now you're up on this? I don't know if this campsite was a good idea. Higher up. <laughs> a little bit too adventurous for our adventurous dog. Oh my god. What? So we're really excited for a new piece of gear. We've never had one of these before. What did we get? A hammock. A hammock! I don't know how it works. I should have read the instructions before we came. Yeah. That would have been a good idea. 
see if we can figure it out. This is a perfect spot for it though. Let's see if I fall out. We definitely want this side a bit lower. Mm -hmm. But it's nice. Yeah, this is just That looks nice. This thing's great. The wind is rocking. So you're happy with your purchase? Yeah. It kind of cuts off your circulation. I feel like if you put like an air mattress or something in here with you, it'd be really nice. I hope I did it right. I guess it looks right. Oh, you're not falling down. Emma, you're all wet, okay? If you're dry, you can maybe go in there. <laughs> Stealing your Crocs. Oh, someone is really looking for trouble today. So as far as I can remember, I've never been in a hammock before. <laughs> How do you do it? Just sit in it. <laughs> I'm scared. It, it'll it hold you. Like, you can't possibly fall out of it. Like right here? Yeah. <gasps> Lean back. Like a chair. Oh, like that? <laughs> oh, that's nice. Mmm. This is nice. Okay, let's try laying down. Stay. <laughs> oh, this is nice. How did we live without this? We fit in the hammock together. It's not a two person hammock. <laughs> Jamie's pretending to be sleeping. <laughs> Emma's jealous. She's trying to get attention. As soon as we sticks. climbed in here, she started eating sticks very loudly. Yeah. Because she knows we don't like it when she does that. That was so refreshing though. It woke me up. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe it feels good. Should we try it? She's got a stick stuck in your tail. Hey, miss! You got a stick stuck in your tail. There you go. I don't think I've actually tried the four cheese mash puree yet. Have mash I? puree. Mash puree. 
<laughs> no, I haven't. Okay, well, I'm really excited for it. Which one do we normally get? Mm, garlic, I think, or... Well, I know we've tried the garlic one. And there's another one that's herbs, maybe? Yeah. I don't know. Okay. You might want to get a top up. I, am I the only one that is really amazed by how this turns into mashed potatoes? <laughs> I just find it so cool. I know it's not cool. <laughs> wow. Oh, it smells good. It smells dang good. Look at this meal. Ooh. Oh, it's so good. Did I cook it all good? Mm-hmm. How do you like my mashed potatoes? Yeah, they're really good. They're one of the best mashed potatoes I've ever had. Gentle. Gentle. Flies have found us. Emma, back up. Back up. Nope. Good girl. You're a little close, I would say. And your butt's in the fire. Go place. Good girl. So we have to put the fly on the tent because it might rain? Yes. And it might storm? Mm-hmm. So we'll put everything away and get going to bed. It's about 9 p.m., which is maybe the earliest we've ever started getting ready for bed. <laughs> but we slept about two hours last night. We left home at 4.30. We got up at like 3.30. We were in bed by like 1, 1.30. So we only slept like two, two and a half hours. I slept two hours, you slept two and a half hours. I slept three. You slept three hours? Yeah. I was in bed at 12. Oh, good for you. But yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, we're tired.
Okay. Someone didn't sleep too good. It's pretty hot in the tent, actually. Surprisingly. It's the rain fly. Yeah, it traps all the heat. So that means you didn't sleep very good either. Mm. I sleep through everything. Well, <laughs> often I do. So I had a great sleep. Do it. Emma, hop in. Wait, not yet. Not yet. Ooh. Oh, Emma, you're supposed to wait. We didn't really tell her to wait. It's implied. Still very good that she's sitting right there. It's very good that you're sitting on my seat, yes. <laughs> Goodbye, favorite site. One of our favorite sites. It's hard to call it our favorite. Yeah. But it's pretty good. The only problem with it this time was that there were some campers who made a bit of a mess, but we cleaned it. That's not a site issue. That's a well, people issue. Yeah. So it's a great site. We love it. We cleaned it up. We burned all the garbage picked up all the cans. Unfortunately, we can't pack it out because there's just way too many. But we put them all back into the fire pit because they were just scattered all over the site in the bushes. So we cleaned it up pretty nicely. Yeah. So this is called Devil's Razor. We did hit a rock here last time. I can't see anything under the water with this wind breaking up the surface like that. Nice. That was easier. Well, it was way lower than we were here last time. So this is a short 175. It's the first of five portages that we'll do today. It's beautiful.
going down the creek. See you later. See ya. Yeah, careful. It's all fine until she starts flying. This is a lot nicer than having to walk through here. Yeah, we had to walk through this last time because it was so low. And it's not, it's really not low at all now. Phipps Lake. Very pretty. Wow, look at this log jam here. This is a short 60 meter portage. Sun is nice. Nice day. Nice fall day. Seven fifteen, Kirkwood to Lawrence. Oh yeah, keep going. It does keep going here. Yeah, so it's a different lake for sure. It's separated by all these rocks. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I don't think it's that bad. No? <laughs> I don't remember. Stairway to heaven. Portage number four. 540 meters. Take it back. This one's pretty bad. It's pretty bad? <laughs> yeah. It's difficult. I think I remember last time we did this loop, we were like, oh, we should have done it the other way. So I forgot and booked it the wrong way again. <laughs> pretty. Hopping. 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 
No, no, no. Hop into the boat. Place. 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 Good girl. Sit down. She's really muddy. That's, that was challenging. A challenging uh, put in? Yeah. Or portage? <laughs> All of the above. Well, that's beautiful. Portage number five, last portage of the day. This will take us into Louisa. Some crazy cliffs here. Really cool. Louisa. We love shopping around campsites when we get to a lake and kind of paddling around and looking at them all, but one of the first ones looks pretty great. Um, so we're just gonna take it, relax and enjoy all the extra time we have. I think it's about 12.30. We got on Lake Louisa at about 12 and we left at eight. So it's four hours to get here. It's just, yeah, it is too bad someone left this massive bunch of garbage here, which is an old pump and air mattress. We also left a bottle of olive oil here yeah. for your cooking meat. There's a bottle of olive oil here, but the fire pit looks, it looks okay. There's just like a weird bag here, but it looks clean. Yeah, it's not bad. I've seen much worse. Cool, we're staying. We're staying. It's actually pretty nice and we'll get a lot of good sun. Cause like, I mean, it's gonna set down there. Yeah. Is that your lane call? Yeah. Cool. And there's good like thermal cover. So tonight it'll be warmer. Good thermal cover? Yes. Very good thermal cover. These great little maples are changing color. Oh, baby maples. So we're trying to see if there is a little path to watch the sun come up tomorrow because this is not a, an east facing site. And it looks like there kind of was from the water. So let's go see. Oh. Is this view any different than what we have? Yeah, a little bit. I mean, you can see Oh that. yeah, definitely. I think, yeah, you probably get the sun coming up over that way. Happy, happy, happy dog. Just a happy, happy, happy dog. First things first. Most important thing, our new toy.
I think she likes the hammock just as much as we do. We're having one of our favorite dinners, our favorite dehydrated meals. The beef didn't rehydrate properly again though, which is odd because I did stir it halfway through. It's still really good. We're also all bundled up because it's going to go down to five degrees tonight. Um, I was supposed to check the weather the night before and I did. Except I checked Algonquin, Ontario, not Algonquin Park, Ontario. So it was supposed to be about 15 degrees at night. <laughs> it's funny, but it's not funny. Because Jamie brought his cooler, or more like a summer bag. And then I have also his bag that's lighter, but warm. And I have a really warm one, but this one's lighter weight. Anyway, so we're gonna have to wear, or I'm gonna be fine, but Jamie's probably gonna have to wear a bunch of clothes. We just heard the bell on the food bag, and there's no wind. <laughs> and now Emma's barking. I think it was a pine cone. Oh yeah? Okay, good job, Emma. Come back. seen very much of it. We kind of like got in from the portage and then took one of the first campsites. Yeah, I was out paddling around. It's really nice over there. Yeah. There's like big mountains. You'll see tomorrow. Mm, 
Yeah, that is really good. I gotta say, the hot cocoa goes really, really good with whiskey. Mm -hmm. It goes good with everything. And this bottle is really good for whiskey. Plastic. We keep hearing the bell on our food bag go off. We think there might be mice. She could be bad. It's definitely something small. It's never there when we look. Good night.